Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, trend update. UNESCO rejects Jewish ties to Temple Mount. And we are August, I'm sorry, October 14, 2016. Uh, October 13th, yesterday, uh, the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, voted to deny recognition of religious sites on the Temple Mount to the Jewish people. The UN, or UNESCO, stated the Temple Mount belongs to the Muslims. Now again, this is coming from the Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization branch of the UN. So the scripture references the Bible, um, never mind 3,000 years of history and archaeological evidence that ties the Hebrew people to the Temple Mount Jerusalem and Israel. And never mind uh, the fact that Islam did not start until 610 AD, you know, about 600 years after Christ. Now the following countries voted for the ban. They would include Algeria, Bangladesh, Brazil, Chad, China, Dominican Republic, Egypt, Iran, Lebanon, Malaysia, Mauritania, Mexico, Morocco, Mozambique, Nicaragua, Nigeria, Oman, Pakistan, Qatar, Russia, Senegal, South Africa, Sudan, and Vietnam. Um, they voted to say that Israel, the Jewish people, have no ties to the Temple Mount, the Western Wall. Uh, <laughs> That's what they said. Uh, next are the countries that have the uh, attitude of the Laodicea Church in Revelation. You know, they chose to do nothing. Uh, get off the fence. Make a stand one way or the other. Jesus quotes, uh, Jesus quoted in Revelation 3, verses 15 through 16, I know your deeds, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish that you were cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm and neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. So take a stand one way or the other. Are you for it or are you against it? And these are the countries who refused to vote. They abstained, you know, buckling to, I don't know what, political correctness there at the UN. Albania, Argentina, Cameroon, El Salvador, France, Ghana, Greece, Guinea, Haiti, India, Italy, Ivory Coast, Japan, Kenya... Nepal, Paraguay, St. Vincent, St. Vincent and Nevis, Slovenia, South Korea, Spain, Sri Lanka, Sweden, Togo, Trinidad and Tobago, Uganda and Ukraine. Now there were six countries that did choose to stand with Israel. The following six are the United States, Great Britain, Lithuania, the Netherlands, Germany and Estonia. And I'll have uh, links for this from timesofisrael.com and jpost.com. It'd be the Jerusalem Post. And then also, Genesis 12, verse 3, And I will bless those who bless you, and the one who curses you I will curse. And in all the families of the earth will be blessed. And in you all the families of the earth will be blessed. History says it is a bad foreign policy move for countries to vote against Israel. So just kind of keep a little note of those countries. Let's see what happens. Make your own decision. Does God really mean that he will curse those that curse Israel? And will he bless those that bless Israel? Does he really still mean it? And oh, by the way, the Bible says there's going to be a third Jewish temple, despite what the UN recognizes. And that third temple will be in Israel in Jerusalem on the Temple Mount. So it's God versus the United Nations. Take your side. If you're interested in these things, please feel free to check out paulthepoke.com, keyword. Trend update, UNESCO, Temple, Temple Mount. Thanks for listening. Take care. Bye.